Alrighty, so I streamed about four and a half hours of Destiny Rising, and the number one question that people kept coming in and asking, Hey Scarab, is Destiny Rising a gotcha game? And the answer is 100% yes. Yes, it is. And we'll go into this a little bit more here, uh, a little bit more in depth. Um, I do want to say that I have been absolutely loving this game. Uh, I'm not the type of person that spends a lot of money on games, so I will probably do like a free-to-play thing whenever it comes out, uh, just to show like what's reasonable to expect. I think you'll be able to get a good amount of stuff, especially early on, free-to-play. Um, so let's kind of talk about this, and I actually have to flip uh, here to talk about this effectively. This is uh, what they call the draw screen here. So um, if I, sorry, I forgot, gotta be a controller guy. Uh, so this is like, this is what Destiny Rising looks like. It looks a lot better on the phone, playing it on my wife's phone. It looks a lot better. Uh, I'm mirroring it. So if the quality looks a little low, that's why. It looks incredible on the phone though. Uh, so there's this menu called Draws, and this is gonna be like the gotcha aspect of it. Um, you have this currency in game uh, called Bon Voyage Charms, and you get these for doing all sorts of things. Um, quests, uh, triumphs, ag like t a ton of things give you these. And every one of these is a pull in the system. Uh, when you run out of these, every 180 of another material called the Lumia Leaves, um, these will give you the equivalent of, of one of these. So one of these is a pull, 180 of Lumia Leaves is also a pull. Um, and you get these, oh my gosh, from like everything. Uh, so much. Um, if I go into uh, the larger menu, um, I mean, there's all these triumphs that give you them. Uh, there are all these like daily quests. I don't even know how to get to daily quests. Here we go. Uh, there's daily stuff that gives them. You can see the rewards uh, from, from that right there. There's the rewards from that right there. Um, there's daily quests that give them to you. I think the battle pass will give them to you. Uh, like the game showers you in those materials, at least early on. Uh, quests, like uh, story missions that you do give them to you. Um, little activities that you complete in the world will give them to you. They come from everywhere. Uh, you can see I have a ton right there uh, and I've opened uh, 22 boxes already in about four and a half hours. I have enough to open, I don't know, 10 more right there. Um, at least early on, you can open a lot of them. And the way they work is kind of interesting. When you pull a draw, it gives you a chance to get a mythic character. Um, there are different characters in, in this game. Um, there are legendary characters, Ikora and, and uh, uh, Atal, who's my favorite, and um, that's Kabir on the on the left there, and Finala. They all have different things, and it, it's just like Genshin, I think, where you can pull them multiple times, and the more times you pull them, the uh, like the more their abilities get upgraded or whatever. Um, then there are uh, mythic characters. Um, and there's a couple of those. Uh, where can I find them at? If, I think if I go to... Yeah, so if I come to Archives, uh, Characters, you can see all the mythic characters. So Estella, Tantu, Ningfei, Maru, Yolder, and Gwyn. Gwyn's like the emo chick that everyone loves. Um, and so those orange mythic characters, that's what you're really pulling for when you are interacting with the gotcha system. Um, starts off at a 1% chance to get them. And then you, every time you pull and you don't get them, your chance goes up. So I pulled 22 times. You can see my chance is now 1.5%. Um, after 60 draws, you are guaranteed to get one. Now, if you want to go through and buy more of this stuff, uh, this is the part of the game that you're going to spend money on. You can buy silver. You can buy these leaves. I do, we, we can't see those prices yet, as far as I'm aware. Um, someone was telling me, in Genshin, it's like 10 pulls is like 20 or $25. It'll probably be similar, but that's complete speculation. I don't know. Um, so, you know, I'm only gonna be doing free to play. Uh, anyways, the other rewards you get is every 10 pulls, you can see I have these additional rewards here and it's like they're boxed out two rows of five. Every 10, that gets randomly populated 
by uh, things in this list here. If you go to details, draw probability. These is, this is everything you can possibly get. Um, ornaments and ghost shells and emotes and items and vehicles and uh, other things here, all used for different upgrades and uh, you know buying things or whatever. You can get any of these things, but instead of like every time you pull, getting one of those randomly, what it does is every 10, that this box here will empty and fill up with 10 random things. And then over your next 10 pulls, you have an equal chance to get any of them on a knockout system. So if you start with 10 random things from that list based off of the probabilities described that I just showed there, like if you go to this list, it, it full out shows you all the probabilities here. Um, you have a base 4.2% of getting a legendary character, an 8.3% chance of getting a cosmetic. That's the chance that one of those 10 items will be one of those. After they are chosen, now, every time I draw, I have a one in 10 chance to get one of those. I, I'm guaranteed to get one of those things, but it's a one in 10 to get any of the ones I want. And so over the course of 10 pulls, you or draws as they're called here, you will unlock all of this. So I'll just use a draw as an example here. Uh, so I have two random cosmetics that I can get and the random cosmetics then if I pull them will be anything from this list. And then I have weapon parts and I have uh, solar spores and relic shards. These are really good. Um, and what what is this? Ice arc spores. So if I draw, I have a 1.5% chance of pulling a mythic character, but I will definitely get one of the eight things over there I haven't pulled yet. So we'll pull here uh, just as an example. Um, relic shards. There you go. And so you can see they were knocked off the checkoff list checklist so when i do seven more pulls those 10 things will repopulate um and then sometime in the next 37 draws i will get a guaranteed mythic character uh as well so uh and and you can see here like in one of these 10 i already pulled a legendary character i actually got um a tall from this my favorite character in the game so far very cool uh so definitely a gotcha game um, I'm not sure how similar or different this is from other games. I think especially early on in seasons and, uh, you know, in like there's plenty of things that will give you plenty of pulls and I think you'll be fine. And there's even things like if um, these challenges, is it these challenges? There's like daily login. All right, here it is. It's if you are on this main screen, you see that thing that says new by the minimap? If you click that, that brings you to your daily streaks. And you can see like there's daily rewards um, and uh, and if you're on like daily streaks, you get all sorts of insane stuff. This will, will this give me an exotic here? Oh my God, sorry, I'm not used to controller. Uh, this will, if you log in, I guess if you do these four days in a row, you get a guaranteed mythic. Uh, I'm sure the rewards are better because it's like the first day or whatever, but is that Huckleberry? Yeah, Huckleberry's guaranteed after seven days. Um, then you have like login rewards for different days, like tomorrow just for logging in, you get five free pulls. Um, and then you get stuff just for playing the alpha every day. Uh, and then there's events. So this is kind of the Genshin thing where you can see here in four and a half days, Gwyn, the, the, the goth void scythe character will be added and then you'll be able to uh, try to pull for her. So that's kind of the gotcha aspect of it. You're trying to pull for these mythic characters um if you pull them multiple times you can upgrade them they're adding more every couple of you know weeks or whatever um and so we don't know what the price of this is going to be in the full game you can't buy anything uh you can only free to play in the alpha for now uh but i wanted to let people know so there you go uh full thoughts coming in the video probably tomorrow um thank you so much if you have any more questions of anything i did not cover let me know down below and uh have a great one see you, everyone